YouTube fam, how y'all doing? We hit 10K, fam. We hit 10K. We, not me, we. This is our channel. We talk about things that are important to us. And I just want to say thank you so much. Fam, you know what? They've been asking me what killed the action figure market. Resellers. They scalp the shit that they buy. They overprice it. Then these companies starting to see how much they're selling this stuff for online and they figure they can cut out the middleman and just sell it for that price themselves. Makes all the sense in the world. We're buying it. And see, that's the problem there. They charging us an arm and a leg. And when I start seeing these uh, figures on eBay, that's too much. I stop picking them up, man. You know, I stopped picking up stuff that was just not worth my time. I'm not going to pay you all of this just for one toy. You know, the toy going for $25 and I'm paying damn near 50 to 60 for it. I'm like, uh-uh, I'm not doing that. I did it a couple of times when I was getting those alley vipers. But far as all that, man, I'm not doing that no more. I'm at a different point in my life. I don't want to spend unnecessary money on unnecessary ass things. You know, we have the resellers to blame for what's happening with the state of the action figure market and the video game market and the Funko Pop market. They overinflated every damn thing. You know, they bragged about prices that they were buying the stuff for and what they selling it for. And you just sitting here looking around like, damn. And you feel some kind of way because you paying an arm and a leg. And another thing that really helped put a nail damn near in the action figure situation is these damn companies doing too many damn exclusives. Just like one subscriber commenter said, why not just get rid of all of those exclusives and just open the pre-order up for every damn body and let everybody buy it. That way you're not creating FOMO, you're not creating, um, you know, uh, you're not over inflating the toy. You just making it where everybody can buy it and you making money off of it everybody's buying your product and all of a sudden now you don't have to do all that stuff no more this is what could have made the situation better but a lot of these people are not looking at it and a lot of these companies execs like it the way it is fam ain't no lie you know it's been better than it ever has been in these last couple of years as far as uh action figure collecting video game collecting funko pop collecting Man, you know, even Hot Wheel collecting because all of a sudden now they're doing a push to get all the product out because our wallets have spoken because at a point we were quiet. We weren't buying shit. Then all of a sudden they started getting panicked and they said, hey, we need to put shit out because if they're not spending money, guess what? We're not making any. You cannot overprice shit and people just leave it there. And Target was getting mad. Walmart was getting mad because they're clearancing shit out. And they're like, look, we're not selling any of this. And that's not good either. That's not good for the brand. That's not good for the company overall. Because, hell, if they're not selling it, guess what? They don't take it off the shelf. And, you know, sometimes when a product don't sell, the company will actually send money to these stores. These toy companies will send money to these stores just to keep the stuff there. This is why I say you got to pay attention to all the stuff that's happening. Um, action figures, video games, Funko Pops, it's almost political. You got to pay attention to who's doing what and what is being done behind the scenes. You got to look at the overall health of the company to realize what's going on every day. If you have a shortage of product, hell, and you realize they done got a new CEO, you see why. He's not putting product out because he's trying to see what the hell is going on, what he needs to fix, what's the problems, what's the overlying, what's the underlying and the overlying problems that, you know, basically facing these companies. And some of the problems that was facing them, they had too many damn people. There were too many people doing the same thing, but each one of them was doing it different. You need everybody on the same page doing it the same way. Otherwise, you're spending money doing too many things. And that's how shit messes up, messes up, really. You know, actions have consequences, man. At one point in time, these companies were making hand over fist. 
Like I said, back in the day, they had representatives. They had people come out, salespeople that would come out and, you know, fill the shelves. They will sit there and talk to you and, you know, be honest with you about what's coming out. They show you pictures, renderings, you know, drawings, you know, in their books because they had to sell books. They were showing you stuff from the Masters of the Universe, the G.I. Joe line. Uh, man, it was like that back in the day. The Transformers, they were showing you all this stuff. I'm serious. They actually had salespeople that came out and stocked the damn shelves. Man, it's crazy now. They don't have that no more. They don't have people to look at the overall health of their brand. Again, Hasbro is a brand. Mattel is a brand. Funko is a brand. Uh, Super 7 is a brand. You know what? Super 7 is in Best Buy. So if you're really looking for stuff, go to Best Buy because Best Buy sells toys too. You need to take a look at all of these companies. You know, places that you thought didn't sell toys actually sell toys. And you could come up on some cheap stuff. You know, maybe not cheap as uh, far as product-wise, but cheap in price. With the invention of YouTube, that's what basically really put a halt to collecting. Everybody want to tell you what they got it for. Back in the day, you know, when product was out there, you know, all of this stuff, you know, some people passed away. Some of the stuff went to the landfill. Uh, some people's houses got cleaned out. People weren't keeping stuff because they didn't know. Now you're sitting here with all this stuff and you're trying to find out what it is that you need to do. The stuff that we need to do, man, is make the best move. Something that's going to uh, actually work for all of us. Right now, we're not using, you know, half of, you know, our buying power because right now we had this company Hasbro, Mattel and all of them to actually change the way they were doing shit again I was talking about window boxes the other day and you know someone you know stated to me they supposed to come back in the summer of 2014 but you know what right now is when you should bring them back and the reason why I say right now is the time that that should come back because right now you got people actually into it right now people have done a resurgence they start seeing more product start seeing um better scopes and details and all of a sudden they're back on board now you need to reward them with the boxes that way you can keep that momentum going as far as those sales in q4 that way they can up the sales and do everything they need to do but see a lot of these companies don't pay attention to us little people because they don't think we understand they don't think we understand business they don't think we understand how all of this works again it's scalpers in a way that actually help ruin the action figure um situation which i'm talking about the actual landscape because they take the toys off the shelf and you know all of a sudden they raise the price up and they selling them on ebay you know something that was 25 is not 60 a video game that was $50, they selling it for 100 or 150 because it's really rare. And now all of a sudden you sitting here like, damn, now I think I might even up quitting all of it. And see, that's what's happening. A lot of people were quitting. And when you quit, guess what? You don't give a damn about what's and what's not selling and what's coming out. And that's the thing. A lot of resellers got caught actually holding on to this shit. You know, thinking that the market in some cases will get better and they end up getting stuck with a lot of this stuff. A lot of people got stuck with a lot of those Haslabs. You know, the Galactuses, the 